Hey everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we finished off all of Sand Mountain. And in this episode, we'll be going off to the second boss. Now, if you're wondering why my shiny object counter is so high, it's because I did a lot of grinding off screen. And you'll see why we need so many shiny objects once we're done with the boss. So, let's move forward. We're going to the industrial park. Doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili relleno in a pan of grease. We have to help. You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? Well, we better figure something out. And pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. Yikes! Looks like SpongeBob for a rough ride. So here's the second boss in the game. It is none other than Patrick Star. The fir his first form is not that hard. He'll spit some ice cream at you and start spinning around like he is now. And uh, yeah, he'll keep spinning until um, he gets dizzy. And once he's dizzy, like he is now, you can just get up right behind him and hit his back. He says there's a switch on his back, but I don't see a switch right there. Which is quite weird, but yeah, see, he'll spit the ice cream at you. Or the industrial goo. But, ooh, gotta be careful, because if, if he hits you... You have to get in it, just makes the fight even longer. Nope, but he's dizzy again. See, it's not... Yeah, thank you, Mr. Announcer, telling the robot he better change tactics and fast. Why would you tell him that? You just the whole fight for all I care. It'd be a lot easier. But no, if you stay in these corners, it's a lot harder for him to hit you. But you're also at risk of falling into the industrial zoo. But, yep, here we go. His first form is down. Yay, we killed him! He just got pwned, FTW! Yes, you're dead, and we thought we killed you. That does it! You pushed this squirrel too far! Get ready for a hot fudge twister, Texas style! Guess we, guess we didn't kill the robot. Well, this, this works a bit similar to how SpongeBob's first wave worked. He will spin around, make himself dizzy, and basically, you want to avoid getting hit like that, because then he'll say, yeah, I win, yay. Even though I still have a lot more health left. Just gotta wait for him to spin around again. He's spinning, 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 spinning. Ah, oh. uh, okay, he's gotta be trying to get hit. There we go. And what you do is you hit him on the back again, however, this time, he will hit that switch, which will make this industrial goo come. And what he'll do is start, he'll eat it, and then he'll start vomiting it at you like he is now. Uh, but yep. And then after that, he should, no, oh, no, he's eating his ice cream again. But he should start spinning around in a second now. Yep. Now, depending on where he lands, you really can't hit him by yourself. Well, actually, I can. Because he's near the edge. However, if you were to hit, say, these um, switches, it would cause these boxes to fall out. Well, that's a bit anti- that's a bit, um, spoiler alert. One more doubt of that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring! Oh, duh, it's gonna melt the icicles. But still. Alright, we have one more wave of him spinning. Spinning, spinning. Um, this time it won't be as easy because he probably will not land near the edge again. Nope, he did not. But thankfully, the platforms I made earlier are still there. And take that.
It's time to roll out some robot punishment. And does it? SpongeBob is back. What we'll do now is put this ice, we'll shoot ice at you, then he'll spit at you. So basic innocence, he'll basically combo you. Dad, give me, I'll be up in about 10 minutes. Sorry about that. And yeah, of course. Oh, come on! I walk into that one! At least, at least he won't do it again. Stay in this corner. He shouldn't hit me, in theory. Because the reach doesn't go out this far. Okay, that's a perfect spot. Since you can't really um, hit him with your spin attack, you have to use the bubble ball. And the bubble ball is kind of hard to do. But right in this spot here, it's perfect because you're, move, you're standing still. But doing it on these moving platforms does make it a bit... Well, that was, um... Expected. What, he's doing it again? Hopefully I don't get hit by those blobs of fuse spinning around everywhere. Uh, nope, none of them are coming over in this area. I think if you just stay... Are you serious? Two, twice in a row? Wow. Never had it that easy. Let's play Curse My Rear End. I thought as soon as I said that, I would have gotten frozen. But, you know, this is the easiest run I've had of this boss. I mean, he usually just never stays on those, um... That close to that non-moving platform. But he won't. he probably won't do it three times in a row. It'll be very shocking if he did, because, well, yeah. What? Are you serious? Three times in a row! He stares near the nod moving platforms. What a joke. And what an anticlimactic boss ending. Thanks for saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fillers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fuzz in my pants. What? 1200 gigawatt? What did he just say? I I don't even want... Let's move on. The game will now save. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Hmm, something's fishy here. So SpongeBob is starting to catch on. The things aren't aren't appearing as what they seem. But now, since we finish off the boss, let's get the rest of the golden spatulas here in Bikini Bottom. Um, first you want to do here. Let me demonstrate the new power-up we have. We have the cruise missile. The cruise missile will allow us to use a homing rocket to attack things from afar. This allows us to get almost all the... Actually, let, let us get all the remaining socks and levels we haven't gotten yet. And make some earlier levels easier if you basically skip them. But, um... I didn't take the easy way out. Not snow sorry. Now, you're wondering why we have 80,000 shiny objects. Well, in this episode, we're going to buy all the shiny objects that Mr. Krabs has for sale, and we're going to also use another, the rest of them to unlock something. What I unlock, we won't visit again until the end of the game, but don't worry, I won't forget about it. I just wanted to get it out of the way now, so I have all the shiny objects I need for it at this point. But let's get, jump on this again. Let's get our other pair of underwear. Wow. Six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable All right, SpongeBob, spot. whatever you say. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hootlum robots of yours. They booted me out! And worse, they've got all of me beautiful shady objects! Steve, file 
killing the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Apparently that phrase, we, of course, meaning you, is very popular. Oh well. Are you ready, kids? Get set. Go! Yep. Oh crap. Uh, first off, let's take you out. See, the cruise missile makes these things a bit easier. Got the duplicate Ultron up there. Uh, let's just do this. Do this. And let's see. Kill you two. And you're left. Uh, no, no one more left. All the robots destroyed, but that's not all we want to do. We want to destroy every little thing in here. Because by doing that... Alright, take damage, whatever. We will be able to, to, to get another sock. And I'm pretty sure this time it's by destroying everything. Unlike when I was in the, sh um, the retirement home, where you only had to fix the TV. This time you actually have to destroy everything. I think. I'm pretty sure you do. Get out from afar. And we have to get up here. Oh, wow. Destroying all of the Krusty Krab inventory, all for a sock. Uh, am I forgetting something? Ah, Thunder Tiki's. How can I forget about those? Wow, how can I miss that one? And, ta-da! Another sock. And, now we have that. There's only two more socks left in Bikini Bottom, and there's and I'll first get a golden spatula for Mr. Krabs. That was the worst Mr. Krabs laugh I've ever heard in my entire life. Anyway, we have a golden spatula. Now, let me get... Well, wait, uh... Two other socks we haven't gotten yet. I think there is one behind... Yep, there's one behind here. And there's one more sock. I believe that sock is in the chum bucket. This is where the final boss area is. Unfortunately, we can't go in there because even though we are very ahead in the game, it requires 75% completion to get in there. Great. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton owner of yes, the Chum we Bucket know. And, the and then stop on your children. And stop on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom news That was flash. very pointless. Just go up. And get the golden spatula. I, I'm missing a sock somewhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Let me go look around for where that sock is. But, um, in the meantime... Mr. Krabs will sell you golden spatulas. I'm gonna buy them all off screen, just showing you that's why I have all these shiny objects. I got them all from Sand Mountain, just by doing the um, Duppy Slope over and over again, because each time you do it, you can average about 2,000 shiny objects to run, so you eventually get all the shiny objects you need. But first, let's spend them over here, at the Bikini Bottom Theater. Revenge of the Bride of Plankton's Other Brain. What a movie. Hello, sir. May I help you? One movie ticket, my good man. Yes, we'll pay 40,000 shiny objects. Yes, sir. 40,000 shiny objects. I know. 
we'll come back and show you what's inside of that later. But, now, as of now, I'm going to be talking to Mr. Krabs and buying the golden spatulas. How it works is you just talk to him once. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? And basically you just do that. So the price will go up, I think, by um, a few thousand each time you buy one. And I have enough golden, uh, enough shiny objects for all eight of them. I think they go up, they range from 3,000 shiny objects to 7,500 shiny objects a golden spatula. Actually, no, I think it may be more than that, but let me just see. Uh, nope, I never got that sock. Well, there we go. There are all the socks. So next time on SpongeBob SquarePants, let's play Battle for Bikini Bottom. We will be going off to my least favorite area, the Kelp Forest. I hate that level. Let me just talk to Mr. Krabs to get my shiny objects. So, do you so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos and check out the other parts of this Let's Play. And until next time, everyone, this is Gamma Lad, as always, signing off.